Just hours ago, former President Donald Trump invoked his Fifth Amendment rights during a deposition with the New York Attorney General's office. Prosecutors say there is evidence the Trump Organization used false information to obtain loans. The Trump team denies any wrongdoing. Today's development bringing renewed attention to the Fifth Amendment and what it actually is. Russ Gadotti spoke to legal exp experts about its purpose and its important role in our legal system. Russ. Now, the defense attorney Tim Dawson told me there's a common misconception when it comes to the Fifth Amendment that it is essentially a way to keep from admitting that you're guilty. In fact, the founding fathers, according to Dawson, put that into our Constitution to keep Americans from use, having the government use our own words against us in a court of law, be it civil or, in fact, criminal. This week, former President Donald Trump walked out of his deposition regarding questions over the former chief executive's property valuations on loan applications and tax issues in the state of New York. However, the president said he pled the fifth to every question asked by the attorney general of New York staff. But what does that mean to plead the fifth? It's a protection against self-incrimination. More specifically. So if you're in a situation, innocent or guilty, and you might make statements that might be deemed incriminating, you have the right not to testify against yourself. Tim Dawson sat down with me today to talk about the former president pleading the fifth. Dawson, a veteran defense attorney, told me the president keeping his mouth shut was a sound legal move. It's the right move because uh, anybody questioning you is not there to help you. They're there to build a case against you. But for one man we spoke to, Mr. Trump evoking the Fifth Amendment has an element of irony to it. From what I recall what he said back in 15 and 16, if you plead the Fifth, that means you did it. So it's kind of curious that he would then go in and plead the Fifth on everything. He was a great president. Awesome. Did a lot for us. That's Jessica Sakel, a cattle farmer from Dairy, PA. Sakel told me the former president deserves no special treatment but he does deserve equal protection under the law as any other citizen would. I plead the fifth also, and, you know, if, if it comes down to it, it, that's his choice, you know, that's his right. All right, Tim Dalso also told us the former president pleading the fifth also prevents any potential testimony he may give from being poached by civil lawyers, government lawyers, state or federal to be used in the many cases that are presently being filed against Mr. Trump. In Greensburg, Roscadotti, KDKA News.